Okay, this is <clears throat> my arrangement. I call this Easy Spanish Ballad. It's adapted from the classical guitar piece called Spanish Ballad or Romanza. So we started on this in class last week. Start with, uh, and I'll put the, the link on the YouTube below where you can uh, download the sheet music for free. <clears throat> Starts with a quarter note on the G and you slide up to the seventh fret. And then you start the finger picking pattern. The right hand pattern again is thumb and the third finger together. And then two more with three, two, one, three, two, one. Every third time the thumb and the third finger play together like that. So that's the right hand. Here we go from the top. The G, I use my little finger here, slide on it up to the seventh fret. And then. Slide it down and then second finger on the third fret. First finger on the second fret, open. First finger now way up on the third, on the third fret. Slide to the seventh fret on your first finger. Now your little finger all the way up to the 12th fret. Four times. Now slide down on the 10th fret with your little finger to the 8th fret. Now you're going to bar three strings, keeping your little finger on the 8th fret. And the bass goes to the 5th string here. 7th uh, fret with the 3rd finger and the open or whether not the open, but the fifth fret with the first finger. And then you do a little shift here. You change, instead of the bar, you're gonna hit the same three notes here. You slide in with your little finger and then put these two down. And then you lift off your little finger, put your first finger down. And the little finger back up. Now slide on the little finger down to the second fret and put down a B7. Back to the E bass, third fret, second fret, open, open, little finger on the third fret, slide up to the seventh fret, and then slide down your little finger and put in this uh, three fingered version of this A minor bar. Lift up, first finger on the third fret, little finger back on the fifth, slide down to the B7. Open, second fret, and then the last measure, next to the last measure of the piece, it changes. The you play the thumb each time, and you you play the E on the second fret of the fourth string, and then the B on the second fret of the fifth string, and then reach down with your third finger, grab the G on the third fret of the sixth string, and then. back into it, the first thing you would sound like this. Okay, um, just again, a pointer on measure eight. That transition between the... Slide your little finger right into that. Play that. If you try and put all three fingers down at once, now you guys have little hands, you'd be all right probably. If you get good at it, it's, I find it easier to just put my little finger down and then I have a moment to 
put these two down. You have just an instant there before those need to be there, but this needs to be there first, the little finger on that fifth fret. So I kind of do that and then I put those down before I need to play them. So that helps. That's the only hard part in the piece. Uh, and it's easier than the, the real The real piece is, uh, sounds like this. Uh, that's all the same, but then it goes up here. B7 kind of. But this easy Spanish ballad makes a nice, easy first solo for you guys, or eh, first classical solo. So that's why I share it with you. Enjoy.